Hello and welcome back. In this video series, we will explore the new FreeQMS Complaints module by entering and processing an electronic complaint. This complaint will concern a purely fictional medical device product. The complaint process, although not identical, is roughly the same for ISO 9001, AS9100, IATF 16949, and other quality system customers that field, investigate, and act on complaints. A crucial difference, as this is a medical device complaint, will be the completion of the reportability assessment activity within the complaint module, where a determination is made as to whether the contents of the complaint must be reported to authorities. This initial video, part one in the series, will walk through creation of the complaint record and completion of scope and complaint item fields. Part two deals with the investigation and root cause activity, the reportability assessment activity, and the notify external party activity. Part 3 deals with the correction and corrective action activities. Part 4 will deal with the verification of effectiveness activity and closing the complaint through an electronic approval cycle. Great, let's start from the top by switching to the FreeQMS home screen. We've enabled the complaints module using the modules and billing icon and given our users access using the users icon. Let's click the complaints module to start creating a record. Next, just as in every FreeQMS module, we'll click the Create Complaint button. We'll fill out our fictional complaint. Any resemblance to real-life companies or products is coincidental. First, our fictional title, Lifeguard 600 PCA Pump Over Infusion to Hospitalized Patient. In this example, we're a manufacturer of infusion pumps, and one of our pumps has over-infused a patient in a hospital. Complaint type, we'll spoil it for you, this will eventually be a reportable complaint so that all FreeQMS activities are covered. We've not yet investigated or made a determination on this complaint. Coordinator, our logged in user, although processing this complaint could certainly be assigned to another user. Complaint status will be open. And aware date. In the real world, it's quite common that a medical device company will field a complaint before creating the complaint record within the quality system. So, for example's sake, we'll put the aware date as two days before today's date. Our fictional company's procedure says complaints must be processed within 30 days of the aware date so that any reportable events are completed on time. Therefore, we'll select a date 30 days from the aware date. Legacy Record ID. Our company uses FreeQMS to generate automatic complaint dates, so we'll put NA here. Problem Statement. This is a very serious complaint involving our overinfusion of morphine to a hospitalized patient. Our problem statement is as follows. Lifeguard 600 PCA pump part 600-XYX serial 9005000 PCA overinfused a hospitalized patient with a pain control medication. Incident was reported by Deer Valley Hospital 24 hours after the event. Hospital reports severe injury to patient who's now stabilized. Hospital attributes over-infusion to extra bolus shot of morphine that was not part of pump programming. Over-infusion of morphine led to patient's heart stopping temporarily. Incident was reported via email to Steve Stevenson, salesperson. Hospital reports that problematic infusion pump will be returned. Risk posed by problem. We must stop here for a quick disclaimer. FreeQMS tutorials should never be taken as regulatory or legal advice in determining the risk of quality system events within your organization or in determining which complaints constitute a reportable event. Always consult your internal procedures and or regulatory and legal departments. And let's continue. Risk posed by problem. We'll put in an example risk statement, there's a risk to patient safety if unexpected overinfusions are performed. There's a risk to product verification and validation if the product is not performing as expected. These risks are mitigated by an engineering investigation to determine potential cause of fault. Initial problem evaluation. We will enter a variation of the FreeQMS tooltip. This record constitutes a complaint because there is a risk to user safety. Now let's pause. Some companies may be more conservative and not wish to state that any customer feedback is a complaint before internal investigation. If this is the case for your procedures, then it's always possible to scroll up and mark the complaint type as feedback until your investigation is complete. For this example, we'll leave it as a complaint. Justification for or against further evaluation. 
Once again, we'll enter a variation of the FreeQMS tooltip. This complaint will be investigated to determine the extent of risk to user safety, to determine the root cause, to determine reportability, and to determine effective corrections. Division. This video does not deal with divisions, which primarily concern companies that operate multiple locations. We will leave this selection at its default. Your screen will likely show the name of the company you entered on sign up. At this point, our initial record is created. As with other FreeQMS modules, information about the record is stored on the Information tab. At the top, we can see the coordinator, the complaint status of open, the create date, due date, the close date, which is not yet populated, the aware date, our system-generated complaint ID, our legacy record ID, and the division. Next, under scope, we can see the problem and risk information we entered. We need to enter a source and complaint items to complete the initial creation of this record and finish the first video in our series. So next, we can go back to the information tab of our complaint. We're going to start by adding a source. Click the Add Source button. For our title, we'll write Over Infusion from Deer Valley. Here in Notes, we can say Received email from Deer Valley Hospital documenting a patient's overinfusion of morphine via our product, Lifeguard 600 PCA Pump Part 600 XYX Serial 9005000 PCA. And click Add. Next, we'll be adding a complaint item. At the bottom of the page, click Add Complaint Item. Our title will be Lifeguard Over Infusion. Our manufacturer will be Example Manufacturing Company. For product or catalog number, we'll add EXE 5000. Serial number will be 9005000 PCA. Lot number 100 5000. UDI 500110. License number LN1, quantity will be 1, and date returned will be left blank as we have not received the product back yet, and we'll note that here in notes, still awaiting return of product. Deer Valley Hospital has been in contact to arrange return of product. At the bottom of the page we can click add. And this concludes part 1 of our video. Continue on to part two to see the next step in the process.